From the general Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa, a specimen has been sawn to stand flat like this so on a flat matrix. So standing flat, let's take it around on a turntable. Let's take it like this. We have a closer look. Now, what happens here, uh, various sections of these Orange River quartzes, and I find this pretty appealing too, uh, a multiple generational growth. So now there, on that side, you'll see the original quartz crystal. Uh, with a head underneath there, which was coated most likely with some hematite, which started oxidizing, giving it a bit of that red color. And then the second generation of silica came over and crystallized on top of the first. So there you have the phantom crystal sitting inside there. From a display point of view, quite an exquisite little guy. I just need to take you around all the angles. Uh, photogenically, a lot of these uh, Orange River quartzes aren't that appealing. They look a little bit dull or mousy. And, and in actuality, let me give you an idea, this is what you're going to see. So quite a quite good luster on these guys. And of course, when we look into the crystals, let me just zoom in on that. Oh dear. I don't know why the camera is losing focus lately. Maybe it's getting a little bit aged. Um, oh dear. Let me just, sorry about this. Um, Let's see what's happening here. It's it's actually losing focus. Ah, there we go. We're back. Sorry about that interruption, that rude interruption by the camera. All the way from the general Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa. Hematoid, ferruginous, hematite included quartz. Clear multiple generational growth on the sample. Lovely piece, lovely form. I love this particular angle. Well, welcoming like hands reaching out with a person in the middle.